Hey Threadheads, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Just a quick one here today, we're going to be tying a classic zebra midge. In the vise, I've got a fire hole. This is uh, model number 315. And we're tying this in size 12 today. I've got a 1 8 inch bead. I believe that's a 3.2 millimeter for those using metric. And we're going to be using some 210D flat wax nylon thread. If you're tying these in smaller sizes, you can go ahead and adjust the uh, thread and go down to a 140D. And if you're tying them really small, you can put on the 70D. I'm going to add a little bit of silver ultra wire in small to rib this fly. Cut off a little length. We've tied on just behind the bead and we'll just slip that wire underneath that bead just so that we don't have any sharp ends poking out. And we're going to keep that wire just to the side of the hook. You can either have it to the side or you can keep it on top. You just don't want it wrapping around the diameter of the hook. It'll kind of... Uh, Put the flow of the fly, it'll give it a little bit of a twist in the body. So we're tied down to the bottom of uh, where we want our body to end, and then we'll head back up to behind the bead. So we want to basically create a taper in here, so we're going to, with touching wraps again, we're going to come back, not quite to where we ended off the last wraps, and then we'll reverse direction and head back up to towards just behind the bead and we'll keep doing this until we've got a nice taper if you see any spots where there's a, a bit of a low spot you can go ahead and add a couple wraps in there but you want basically a bit of a taper just like we've created here this looks pretty good and again we're going to be filling in some of these gaps with some uh, head cement or some resin just add a couple half hitches so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take our ribbing. And I usually aim to get somewhere in the neighborhood of seven to eight ribs on the fly. Of course, on the smaller ones, that's going to be a bit more of a challenge. But the bigger ones, you should be able to get uh, seven or eight. And that mimics a uh, natural chronomid. Go ahead, put some wraps of thread on both the front side and the back side. And one thing I like to do is just tie off before I uh, helicopter off my thread here. Give that thread a good tug. And you can see I left a little bit of a tag. We'll clean that up afterwards. But we'll give the wire a bit of a tension and give it a few wiggles and it should pop right out. Now to really add some durability to the fly. We're going to add a little bit of brush on UV resin and we're using the Solaris uh, bone dry in this situation. Just want to make sure you got good coverage on here. And I find if you just leave it on for an extra second or two, some of that excess will get soaked in, which is uh, not too bad. I don't think I think it gives the fly a little bit more durability. And then when I hit that with the UV light, I usually start out about 12 inches or so away from the fly and uh, slowly draw that in just so you're not curing that UV resin too quick, which can kind of uh, generate quite a bit of heat. I don't know if it changes the, um, the makeup of that UV resin or not, but this is the way I like to do it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vise. Cheers.